Hey Virgo, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I am your host Mirage. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to your Pisces season reading. So guys, um, I have some coffee, I'm sorry, cream wafer that are coffee flavored and I have this. This is pretty cool. I, I don't know where the box is at the moment. Oh, actually it's over here. Um, I got this for my birthday. It's by Geeked. Um, 2,500 milligrams of blackberry kush sour diesel sauce like bro yeah i know it's delta eight and all that but i mean you can switch it from indica and sativa and this is my first time having one of these this shit is is it's pretty good so you catch me puffing on it occasionally and snacking on this today is the first day of my cycle and my stomach has barely let me eat anything, so I'm, um, I want to say excuse me if I get a di little distracting here, but I want a snack, but I also want to give you guys a reading. So I, I have a spring candle for you guys right here. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's, I don't want to say that it's nothing special because it is special, but, whew, spring is here. Or for some of you, it's still falling its way into your lives depending on where you are in the world <clears throat> so ah, I forgot to <clears throat> I reshuffled every card except this one my bad for that but yeah some of you could be feeling more beautiful at this time wanting to probably do some skincare some self help improvement like things that help your mental health your immune system some of you could be exercising but i'm gonna reshuffle that deck for you guys it just doesn't feel right to give you somebody else's energy i'm making a mess y'all see me trying to pull these apart and then they just fall apart mm. but yeah we're gonna go with the shaman oracle deck or i'm sorry the mystical shaman oracle deck to start off your reading this is gonna let me know how your spiritual journey in a sense through Pisces season like what are you meant to acknowledge what's the ultimate test where is this opportunity of growth and self-fulfillment taking you like what card are we about to pull for that let's see give me something spirit what's up oh shoot all right you have number 12 the coyote some of you could have been born on the first the second the third or the 12th of, hmm, is it, is it September? Yes. All right. So the coyote, the coyote is a scavenger. Okay. Uh, I meant to also mention that one, two, or three, maybe even 12 could be your life path numbers, but the coyote is someone that they're a scavenger. They usually go into the world to see what's there for them to pick. They can be shapeshifters. They elude you into thinking they're probably like this innocent soft fox, but even foxes start making scary noises after a while. But, you know, coyotes make it a point to not be tameable. So I feel like you have this wanderlust energy, some of you, or you know it's time for you to make your mark. It could be traveling elsewhere, like leaving a home situation, maybe moving out of your parents' home to start a new chapter, to get things on your own. Some of you could be starting a new hustle or trying one, you know, for the first time to just see, does this work for you? Hmm. I'm hearing some of you are getting initiated. Be careful not to go into anything that's a pyramid scheme, a cult, or... Something that takes away your ability to be an individual. For some of you, you may you may have to be careful with some of the religious factors you've been taught. You know how some people try to skip on the part of, be, you know, what is it? I almost said be thy neighbor, but love thy neighbor. I don't know why my head was having a hard time. And it doesn't mean loving them within a condition of what you are finding acceptable. More so, love them for just being there. They exist. 
Now, how they choose to live their existence has nothing to do with you, especially if they're going their own course. But I digress. Like I said, some of you, it's time for you to pursue a path of going after what's yours and doing it to your own standards. But be careful not to piggyback off of other people at this time. Let's see. Now we have Moonology Manifestation for your emotions. Let's see how you'll be faring in Pisces season emotionally. So I want to let you guys know, for some of you who have been watching me for a while, my room is going to start changing, like the setup. It's going to be like this for another few weeks, probably, until I finally get money to, uh, you know, get new furniture in this house. Like, I, oof, it's been a mess. <laughs> so that's what I'm working towards. We'll see how that goes. But I do have a lot of things in the works. Also, I want to invite you guys to take a look at my other two channels. I have one for vlogging, cooking, beauty, all that good stuff. And then I have one for gaming and like just entertainment. So. Let's see here. Still shuffling. Okay. There we are. All right, you have full moon in Cancer, let your fears dissolve. Some of you have played Kingdom Hearts, you know, um, in, I think it's her song, Passion, Sanctuary, yeah. And there's this quote, my fears are lies. Fear is something that holds us back. And we think maybe we're preparing ourselves for the future, but sometimes wanting to over-prepare or getting paranoid, anxious about something will sometimes invoke you to want to seek a way to control something. So that way, even if something goes wrong, there's a part of you that feels you were in full control of that. And that can be a self-sabotage, you know? sometimes you just have to let things go their course this is a full moon some of you could actually have your moon in cancer perhaps but i feel like a lot of you are realizing that you can be your own worst enemy or your own worst prophet or prophetic figure because i know a lot of virgos don't like surprises but it's it's like Without knowing it, some of you have this tendency to, like, ram your head into a wall and still find a way to blame it on somebody else. But it's like, bro, you did that. Well, I saw that this was going to happen, so in order to prevent it, like, you know, you basically hurt yourself or set yourself up for some sort of failure. But, once again, you keep saying this is somebody else's fault. Or, maybe you don't blame someone else you blame yourself and again that's still a form of self-sabotage like maybe it's not your fault maybe some things just weren't meant to be or the opportunity like you're not ready to receive it okay pace yourself now with the game of thrones tarot deck we're going to pull one card this is going to be a card that lets me know what your challenges are for this season what's crossing you what do you need to work on what are you avoiding that you know you eventually have to make an effort to change. Uh-oh. Okay. We have Ten of Swords. There's a traitor up there. This is that Jon Snow uh, moment. Some of you probably know what I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil it for... I mean, I, it's been long enough. If you haven't seen that yet, like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> But in all seriousness, some of you have realized that it's time to end a situation. This could be something that's social because there are swords here. This could be something to do with an Aquarius, something to do with a Libra or a Gemini. If not, then this is something that has to do with like a friendship, a coworker, maybe a lover. 
but there was some betrayal, so, you know, some gossip, things that were working against you. Or if you've been in this situation, you got caught for, I guess, doing like ill manifestations or for trying to sabotage another person. I keep hearing someone's like, but it really wasn't like that. You know, it, and maybe, like I said, your intentions weren't something that was ill. But I, no matter how you want to perceive something, when you do something, there are consequences that are expected from that action. And maybe you don't see or feel those consequences right away, but in time, all things have to be paid for, you know? So be careful. <clears throat> Who would be calling me from Winter Haven at friggin... Somebody keeps playing on my phone. But it's 8.06, like, who would be calling me? Anyways, um, that could be confirmation. Actually, that could be it. Someone, like, they're watching you lose your shit because someone is, like, playing on your phone or sending you, like, messages from a fake account harassing you or something. You're like, who is this? But, you know, this person doesn't get very far and they're very vague if they do respond to you be careful like i'm hearing somebody could be a victim of a scam but you like without knowing at the time you know who's doing it it's just that maybe they slip up in a phone call like if they're using something to change their voice that thing starts to malfunction you're like really bro <laughs> i don't know but go with your gut you know so we're gonna do the beginning the middle and the end of pisces season with the light series tarot deck here. <clears throat> I hope you guys have been having a good year though. You know, despite how things are going so far. Maybe some things just need to end in your life so that something else can take its course you know I wouldn't worry but if this is resonating so far make sure to like share subscribe comment down below give that community tab some love let me know how I'm doing what you would like to see more or less of or in general what you would like to see if it's not resonating that's totally okay this could be meant for another Virgo or somebody with Virgo in their chart but don't force the shoe to fit Then we need one last one. Oh, shoot. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Um, maybe I was right about this air sign situation. In the beginning, you had the King of Swords in reverse. Ooh, -hoo. he is not a friendly guy. The King of Swords in reverse. He is someone that is all about treachery, you know? He'll even smile in your face and give you an alibi of where he was. He'll, you know, act like he just has your best interests or, you know, hey, he's been a little busy. Or better yet, maybe he doesn't give you any of those reactions. Maybe he just looks you dead in the face and lets you know he does not give two scoops of a fuck about how you feel. He did what he did, now deal with it. He don't want to hear that, boo-hoo, oh my God, I can't believe you. What, what have I ever done to you? I loved you, I've given you everything. I've, you know, we spent all these years together, all this time together, and we have kids together. He really don't give, he don't care. He don't care. He's closed off. He has no emotions. This could be, if it's not a lover, this could be an elder heir sign in your life, maybe a father figure. And finally, it's just to a point where you would acknowledge whoever this is. It doesn't matter, really. But, yo, you've had it. It's time to just let that go. Is this person, they they choose to be toxic. It's not like, okay, maybe our chemistry is a little off or we got to learn how to communicate. This person stabs you and smiles while he does it. Like, looks right at you. He's But somehow he still aims for your back. He doesn't care that you know it's him. In the middle, you have the Eight of Wands. I, just brush it off because in reality, you got all these good things coming to you. Like the minute you're like, you know what? I have no time for this. 
but I got plenty of time for this. This is a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of accomplishments, meeting your goals, going out and getting it done, a lot of blessings, receiving so much good energy, like a lot of abundance from others around you that really do care about you. This is also fire sign energy because it's wands. So, you know, Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius, you're feeling very warm and vibrant. You will be anyway, if this hasn't happened yet, but as time persists, you just wanna feel good. So allow yourself to do that. Then finally, we have the queen of swords. So when you see a king and a queen in a reading, typically this has something to do with counterparts. Even if it's not an actual relationship, this could be your parents, this could be, you know, a couple that you're very close with. Maybe you're in a monogamous, not monogamous, what? Like maybe you're in a poly relationship of some kind. But what I see here with this Queen of Swords is this woman is willing to listen. She's willing to be reasonable. But the minute she hears something she doesn't like, she's cutting it off. Like she's all about fairness, but that's just it. She is fair. She keeps the balance of the scales, but it takes the slightest bit of effort to tilt those scales the wrong way. She's not working against you, but she's not here for the bullshit, basically. You know? So I honestly feel that so you could have air in your chart, but I also feel like this could be you witnessing like something to go with with your parents. Maybe both your parents could be an air sign. Maybe this is you standing in your power where you're setting healthy boundaries. And yeah, people are coming to you like, hey, I'm sorry for that. I didn't think you'd actually cut me off. And you're like, yeah, well, I did. Now, what do we do with about what do we do about that? Why are you here? Because you did what you did. You know, you didn't care about me then. Why do you care now? You want the truth. And that's what the Queen of Swords is all about. She's all about taking things for what they are. She doesn't react emotionally, but she will at times allow herself to seep into that energetic sense of vengeance so it's not like she's going to scream and holler at you or post like something ridiculous on social media to bash you but for everything that she's held back not spoken about and let slide once she is finally just to a point where she walks away you feel what she's feeling it's it's like this weird kinetic thing where she doesn't do anything but you feel her leaving she's ice cold bro you know, and maybe the person or people that you've had to cut off, they're feeling some type of way. Like they now they're looking over their shoulder, wondering like, uh oh, when are they going to get me back? But you are, I just feel like you're moving on. Like you're not trying to match energy, but we have yet to see. So I'm going to clarify with the Tarot of Divine. Sorry if y'all can hear my nephew in the background screaming and whining. He trying to go to bed. I don't know what that was. This is another reason I don't really film as much as I would like because, yeah, it's very distracting. In the beginning you have death in reverse over the king of swords in reverse maybe this is a scorpio or someone that acts as scorpio energy but this is a refusal to change this is the repeat of a cycle that you are meant to transform from like look at this as a lesson this person this entity whatever that makes you feel like you're in a unrequited triangle or what is it rectangle or some sort of obstruction of growing it's not that it's funny it's just that it doesn't matter what shape or form it takes it's a lesson is a lesson whether it be a person a meal a dog or a pet of some kind some things it's just hey this wasn't meant to stay forever you're just meant to learn something from it and the lesson is why do you keep choosing to wreck your own future before it even begins or why do you look to destroy yourself 
or throw a wrench in a gear that is meant to guide you where you need to go and then you get mad and you're like why is everything happening to me no 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 why do you keep allowing yourself to react to certain things so heavily instead of hey you know what i see that didn't work and i see why that didn't work so let me try something else or let me keep working on this until something becomes of it but if this is something more like a toxic relationship like i said this is more of a confirmation that this person is not trying to change once again if i got to show you this one more time this person does not care it's in reverse for a reason this person does not care that you know it was them or that they'll do it again or that they're not gonna stop until you do you know so don't try to put yourself on eggshells or adjust yourself to someone or something that they don't want you once something is put in the trash it's expected to stay there this could even be someone who not only rejected you but humiliated you and they keep doing it you know and you're just like oh well maybe if i change this about me or maybe if i do this or do that i'll become more likable no first like yourself then realize in liking yourself anything that disrespects you is a disrespect to yourself the more you allow it so let people watch you walk away and don't try to change their opinion. Like, people don't need to be on a pedestal, you know? All right. So in the middle, you have the Fool in reverse over the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're going to heed my advice. Instead of trying to go at something another way, you're just letting things happen as they need to be. But like I said, you trying to stay stuck in a revolving door, expecting for the scenery to somehow become different that's insanity <laughs> it's not that it's funny once again i'm just like i know some of y'all were like hmm what else profound thing is she gonna say and i'm like no literally that's the definition you keep doing something expecting different results but i feel like you've learned that lesson that you know what maybe i keep attracting the same bullshit because i keep allowing the same bullshit keep expecting it keep it's something that's on my mind and sometimes even when we're like i don't want that to happen anymore i don't deserve that if you don't move out the way, it just, it, you know, you give the universe permission to keep giving you the same shit because you keep thinking about it, you know? But question, why? Why do you keep repeating in your head things that don't make you feel good? What is that about? Finally, we have the Three of Wands over the Queen of Swords. So you're going through with this new beginning. You're making a decision to make a decision overall even if the plans aren't adjusted like you're preparing or maybe you have prepared but now it's time to leave this behind some of you might have to even go from instead of you are the one retreating you have to devise a plan of attack out of self-defense but like i said for some of you this person could be emotionally abusive mentally abusive they could be someone that spreads rumors about you they go out of the way to humiliate you harass you and yeah you gotta leave a lot of stuff behind to get out of the situation but sometimes wouldn't you rather it be that you left stuff behind bad memories the old version of yourself that attracted whatever this is instead of the only way out for some people is a mental asylum a restraining order or a casket if they even get that you know so make wise decisions don't settle for anything and go with how you feel don't let life decide it for you finally we have the super attractor deck and that will end the reading oh my god no <laughs> sorry about that cards got a little hasty there what do we have here nope Mm -mm. all right let me get one spirit please okay my ability to receive is measured by how much i practice good feeling thoughts that's pretty much what i just said you know how are you to attract anything positive 
motivating and healthy in your life if you keep sitting and swimming in polluted water expecting that maybe one day it'll clean itself or one day your body will just someday magically get accustomed to something that is meant to destroy it some of you are so stuck in survival mode you've forgotten how to actually live and be happy and feel free don't let others or the influences of others narrate how you are meant to live your life and how you are meant to spend your energy okay be gentle with yourself so with that that will be the conclusion of your reading virgo i love you so much take care i really hope this resonated but if it didn't that's totally okay like i said y'all know y'all know how to get yourselves in and out but i will see y'all in another video or another reading love you guys so much take care Mwah. Bye.